Welcome to Vegas Circle with Pocky and Chris. And today, returning back to the circle at our new location, Bottega Exchange, we got Johanna King Perez from uh, Vegas Urban Pride. We also got Miss Nicole Williams from Set Light Images. They're actually a production company. So, guys, welcome back, man. Happy to have you guys back I on. How you guys doing today? Man, great. Y'all been running around the world, so <laughs> promoting and, and doing great. your big event. Yes, yes. So, you guys got the event coming up. October 18th through the 20th, I saw, so in, in Vegas. Mm -hmm. um, where are you guys gonna be doing the event at? We are on the Strip, oh, Hot tight. Rock Cafe, uh, for two whole days. So we're very excited about that. Yeah. And then we're at a Democracy Prep, and that night we're at a kind of iconic, so. Okay, the big one. Yeah, that, that one right there, the finale party is, a. Uh, something to go down in history for us right now that's what's up okay but listeners in our audience because we, we had you guys on before of course uh, but now we're down to the to nitty-gritty on, on the timing uh, kind of just talk about vegas urban pride why you guys started it and you know and just it's just the whole whole background to sum it up uh king reached out to uh set life images actually with uh my company was referred mm -hmm. to do a flyer for a stripper party <laughs> pride weekend got you last i knew year. she was gonna say oh so that was last year last year yes um I was referred uh, by Melissa Benz to contact King uh, about her hosting a stripper party and a possible new client for a flyer. Gosh, <laughs> okay. That's how y'all got started. I didn't right, even know yes. that. Yeah. Y'all right. didn't share that before. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. Well, not yeah. a lot of people know how it all came about because everybody thinks so. It's a three day festival, so yeah. it just started off like that. Yeah. You know, uh, that definitely wasn't my idea. My idea was just one day. Got it. I had two people in mind. Mm -hmm. I had an original dancer uh, by the name of Dynamite. Sh shout outs to him. He's mm -hmm. in LA. He's basically been in the scene forever, my whole career. Okay. And um, I knew that I wanted to do a crossover with the straight community. So mm -hmm. Melissa Benz has been uh, a model that I've been watching the whole time I've been in Vegas. Mm -hmm. So. Those were the only two people that um, I had in mind when I wanted to do this. Yeah. And you mentioned a little bit about bringing the straight and gay community right. kind of together. Can you talk a little bit about that and kind of elaborate? Because um, a lot of people, when you hear pride, they think, right. you know what I mean? So you don't know. And I think that's the main thing um, that was in my mind mm -hmm. that triggered something in mm -hmm. which I didn't want to let her walk away from the situation because I knew that it was a need. I've, I've, um, I'll give you a little background history. I've been in the club industry for over 10, 10 years plus. So a lot of people that I've been dealing with, I've went to different states, looked at how um, how events were put together yeah. and how separated certain things were. Mm -hmm. And me dealing with people, I would get them saying, well, yeah, we'll do this, but is it a gay party? Got or it. yeah, we'll do this, but is it a straight party? And my thing was, I like to party, I like to have fun, yeah, I like yeah. to drink and see new people. So I don't look at it like, is she gay? Yeah, so that was the, the party. right, <laughs> where is the party, who is DJing, mm -hmm. and who is entertaining me? Yeah, because yeah, that yeah. was the only factor. And the energy being right. Right. Yeah, because I went, I remember I went to one of y'all's events, right. man, and I wasn't, I, would, I didn't know what to expect. All the energy was right. It's, that was my main focus with creating Vegas Urban Pride or block party as it was called back then sure. is to unite both uh sexualities as you say mm -hmm. and say hey if we close our eyes to that can we actually party Got and it. have fun and last year was very Proven very successful, successful. <laughs> with that what are you seeing like a year over year growth compared to what it was last year is it double 30 <laughs> percent how are you factoring that in wow uh, that sounds like a property management <laughs> year over year. Yeah. Oh, you know, the analytics. Lord, you got the geez. analytics. Yeah. 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 If you want to buy my analytics. company right now, what yeah. is the projection? Yeah. You want to hear the return on investment? Right. 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 Shut up. That's good. Right. If, yep. if we are looking at it that way, I would say that the elevation has rocketed, skyrocketed. Yeah. Um, we went from shout outs to my bros and undisputed. Um, mm -hmm. Bike set on in Vegas here station. Okay. That's where we are, we started off Vegas Pride. Mm -hmm. It was really on a block on pavement, um, unleveled pavement at yes. that. <laughs> so it's, it's a three day event this year, yes. right? So what will people expect? So Friday, Saturday, Sunday event. If I was looking correctly, what's the first night? Because I saw you guys got what is it, the meet and greet poolside party. Right. You got from the annual charity, which we can get into right, a little right. bit. 
So first day Friday night, what, what, what would people expect? All right, so how it goes down is at the host hotel. It's mm -hmm. OYO Hotel, formerly known as Hooters Casino. And this is the first place that you can pick up your weekend passes, mm -hmm. um, come down, get ready, check into the hotel, mm -hmm. and vibe with us from 2 to 6 p.m. on Friday. So um, we got Jim Bean as a sponsor for the pool party. From there, then we go to Exotic Night. Which um, is Friday night also? Friday yes. night. Okay. Yeah, so the pool party uh, hosted by Chicago, Trina True Love, uh, King, mm -hmm. and Zerilla Bacon okay. uh, that are going to be there. And then we go at 9 p.m. The doors open at Hard Rock Live Cafe. Yeah. The Hard Rock Cafe, which is on the Las Vegas Strip, right. on yeah. the third floor, is where Pride Weekend's main That's a crazy view, too. Right. We, we it's there before. Yeah, 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 yeah Christmas nice before. Floor. That's a nice view. We yeah. have the whole third floor. We have the That's whole what's third up. Floor. Okay. Newly renovated, it's mm -hmm. beautiful. Doors open at 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. Our uh, exotic night is being featured by was it City of Doms. Sure, they're okay. a traveling exotic entertainment company uh, that are going to come deep. Uh, Sia? That Sai is hosting that event. Okay. Um, Sai is a, a musician, right? Yes. Okay, yeah, I was yes. looking her up. Yeah, she's LA? from um, Sisterhood of Hip Hop. Oh, yeah, so you guys got a lot of support. Yeah, I saw a lot of people on. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. There's a lot of people coming down. There's a yeah, lot of yeah. elements. There's a lot of layers yeah. to Pride this year. Yeah, what we like did it. do is um, last year, uh, it was our first year. Mm -hmm. So we had to listen to the streets and see what they wanted, what mm -hmm. we could change that was, you know, in our power to do so. Uh, uh, this is what I wanted to see. The, it's the charity basketball, drop your guns, pick up a ball right. event. I know we were talking about it too. Yeah. What, what is that all about? Yeah. That is a, a event that really touches home with me. Sure. It was originally uh, created um, in behalf of my mom that uh, was killed. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, yeah. She was shot seven times, pushed down a slide of stairs, and like I said, oh, wow. left behind six kids. Wow. Um, so I understand that there's grandmas and mothers that are taking care of kids without, you know, all the help, all the resources. Wow. And sometimes they don't have time to you know, tend to the kids. So then there goes activities. As growing up, I played basketball, I played a lot of sports, and that kind of kept me level-headed. I'm, yeah, um, I'm with you, <laughs> that's it, yeah, yeah. So that geared towards, you know, the actual basketball game, mm -hmm. showing kids that you can be kids again. Mm -hmm. um, our goal is to give away 200 bikes and scooters, helmets, that's awesome. and um, things like that, and show them that we really care about them. Mm -hmm that they have people that they can, you know, call on, talk to, let them know that it's okay to be a kid again. Yeah. yeah. You know, they're what excited day would, about would that. Would that be Saturday or Sunday? That's um, on a Sunday. Sunday, okay, October so that's the 20th. 20th. Okay. Yes. From, what is it, 1 to It's six. from 1 to 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. We have also been um, sponsored by AHF. Um, we're gonna be doing on-site testing. Okay. The AIDS our, Healthcare yeah. Foundation. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we've set a goal of what, how many? 50 tests. On uh, 50 tests uh, from the throughout the weekend. Yeah. Okay. So. Throughout the whole weekend. So Good. we're asking the community to actually help us. To promote um, that? Yeah, promote okay. that and come, even if you got tested before, mm -hmm. come get tested again. Yeah. Now, on a side note, too, and I know I skipped over that, you guys got Kid the Great performing. Kid the Great. Kid the Great. I always say his name, I'm sorry. Kid and that boy great. gets busy, man. Right, <laughs> yeah. right now he's yeah. like, He's been traveling to all the states. We've yeah. been keeping up with him. He's very supportive. His mother yeah. is very, very supportive. We actually met up with her um, last week, wow. spoke with her about this. So between him and his family, they're very, very like intertwined with this community event. I didn't and, realize like, he's almost got like four million right. people following him. Oh, right. He's traveling around the world. And yes. yeah. I know what's your background in dancing, man. So it's yeah, this yeah, he's serious, serious, man. Yeah, he's very serious. Are you gonna battle him at all, man? Are you gonna try to bring out this? <laughs> Let me tell you something. Yeah. These I might look young with these yeah. bones right Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Start the cracking these, dust. The way these bones set up. <laughs> I'm saying I'm gonna let him do his job. No, I see. Yeah, he's serious. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Is he doing the basketball event, or what is? Wh where's um, where's he fit in? He's actually gonna do the halftime. Oh, the halftime. Um, okay. So that the kids would be able to sure. experience that, meet him, that's take some cool. pictures. I'm gonna have to bring my son to meet you know, to meet him. Yeah, because he. I'm yeah. a big fan, also. Uh, so that's great. I'm, I'm glad. I'm, I'm happy <coughs> to see what you guys are doing, man, and transforming. Yeah, you know, transforming it into. Us. We're happy about you guys. Yeah. Yeah, we're we trying. We're killing it. We in a new office. Y'all gotta see this. Appreciate that. Y'all hearing us. 
stairs right now, but y'all yeah. gotta actually come down here yeah. and check out the new place. This Thank couch you. that I'm sitting on right now, <laughs> I'm like, I'm flushed. Yeah. It's, it's, it's flushed in We here. thought it was too comfortable. Right. We, we, we <laughs> so see, I sat over there already falling asleep. Right? That's it's good. It's you know, it, comfortable it, for everybody. It got so. us leaning back. Like, yeah. you know, it really feels like home in here. It Appreciate always that. has felt like home coming to talk to you guys from the Thank very, you. very beginning. You guys were one of the, one of the main, um, one of the main podcasters that actually wanted us to come in and yeah, was, in wanted to be yeah. in the midst of us from rock bottom. It yeah. was us just actually talking about what we wanted to do yeah. before it even happened. So you mm -hmm. guys had faith in us. So we really yeah. appreciate we still you do. guys. We see the know? growth and opportunity. We, we see it. And you know what's funny? I mean, Chris Chris and I, you know, we've known Nicole for a long time. Mm -hmm. yeah. We didn't even realize what was happening. We right. got to give a shout out to, you know, Letitia and Angel with, with you know, right. the to give. Yeah. They're, they're yeah. great people, great people. And they were able to connect us. Um, but I think that's what it's all about. I mean, that's why Chris and I formed Vegas Circle is because you need to network. Mm -hmm. You need to pe give people the platform to talk about what you guys are talking about. I mean, right. we joke a lot, but this is serious with the AIDS right. stuff that's going on, um, giving people the opportunity to connect. Giving and, the uh, kids a voice. Of course, yeah. You know, of course, fun, so. safe environment to come where even if you, you uh, no matter your sexual preference, that you can mm -hmm. come to a place and have a good time and not feel like somebody's looking or judging you. Yep. In the city of Las Vegas, not saying that any venue has that, yep. but you have that option to have something that's, you know, right. LGBTQ based. Mm -hmm. For sure. You know, and feel good. Yeah. What's the cost of it? So let's say people, when they come in, um, let's say they want to do the, the full event uh -huh. or, you know, maybe they want to do just Friday night or Saturday night or just popping in. Well, um, how would you, how would you work that out for everybody? Right now we have an early bird special, okay. which we're doing a hundred dollars for everything. Whole weekend, three days. Whole weekend. Okay. Six events. Um, six events. Okay. Uh, the finale party alone. Is That's a great price, guys. Yeah, so y'all better step your game yeah. up. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, and you know we wanna we wanna definitely keep it affordable. Yeah. Right? And what helps us keep it affordable is keeping sponsorships. Sure. And those you know corporations you know building those relationships. Mm -hmm. So um, that I'm grateful for the people that believed in what we had on in a financial standpoint, right. so that we can keep our ticket cost low. So um, it's a hundred dollars for the six events. Mm -hmm. And um, from there, if you decide right now, they're online at VegasUrbanPride.com. You mm -hmm. can you pay for that. Mm -hmm. um, you will get a wristband. You can pick up the wristband at any event when you choose any to event. come. So you, individually, tickets are thirty five dollars per event, forty okay. for uh for the exotic night, thirty five dollars. Okay. Day pass to our day party mm -hmm. on Saturday is sixty five for both events, or you can just buy thirty five and thirty five for either one. We've got a couple of jewels that we want to drop today. Okay, what's that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> first year, we heard it here like, first. Let's go. Let's go. I'm like, hold on, we got something major that um we actually closed this week. Um, we also have Hennessy oh, that's sponsoring okay. um three events. Perfect. But our main event that they're sponsoring is our All Black Party, which is now turning into a Hennessy Black Party. That's what's <laughs> up. Okay. So, that That's is, a big sponsor, man. Right. That's great. Yeah. We've been working on that deal for almost 11 months. Awesome. Oh, wow. Right. Yeah. So we're, we're paying off. That's man, y'all ain't got to tell us. Like, <laughs> yeah. We've been running a marathon. And That's great. It's been hard work, but it's been well worth it. And we're we're very, very proud to bring what yeah. we're bringing to the community. And we're glad that the community is welcoming us. And more so <laughs> than anything, it's not about just... The, the corporations that are involved, they want to, they're excited, they want to be involved. Hennessy and their team has made it clear that yes. they are really excited about what we're doing mm -hmm. and they want to be here from the ground up. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're they're going to be at the day party brunch okay. uh, with the, the Belvedere, the mimosas, the sangria. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll have cocktails that'll be uh, drink specials with Hennessy. Um, they've been very supportive. And then Iconic Nightclub, uh, <laughs> man, we, we found a venue. Um, that wanted to be involved in right. Vegas Urban Pride, you know, and was able to um, come up with an amazing, amazing right. blowout party, mm -hmm. the Go Go Glow party. So a grand finale for all of our brand ambassadors, all of our people that have worked so hard mm -hmm. um, on Pride leading up. This uh, this is a party to them in celebration mm -hmm. for all the work that's been done. So Good Vegas, man, yeah, yeah, they got <laughs> you guys got to come and support it, man. So we, right. October eighteenth, nineteenth, twentieth, right. Um, we appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Yeah, definitely. definitely go get your tickets, guys. VegasUrbanPride.com. So follow us. Follow them. Oh, yeah. Uh, Shout outs to Grizz yeah. Cafe, too. Yeah. We'll be oh, Grizz Cafe. You got yes. good food. Yeah. Like, we're also going to be giving away uh, 
gift certificates and things Perfect. like that. Like I said, throughout the whole event, we'll be giving out swag bags, Perfect. all kind of different things yeah. to people coming out to support us. So, awesome. yeah, just before we go, I definitely mm -hmm. want to thank our donors and contributors to the bikes. We Perfect. have a, a list of people that have been so supportive behind the scenes, silent supporters that are helping us to reach our goal right. to get the 200 bikes for the kids. Thank you guys for coming back on, and we always go keep the connect. You guys are always welcome here, so for sure.